Today I'll show you how easily you can create assets for your brand, whether it's an image for social media, a mockup, a complex poster or pretty much anything brand related. It's all done in seconds at Logo Diffusion without any design skills or software. The results are amazing so make sure to watch until the end and let me know if you have any questions. Hi everyone, it is Guga from Logo Diffusion. Logo Diffusion is not only amazing for creating professional logos, you can also upload your current logo and create really cool and professional assets. I'm only going to show you just a few examples, but there is so much more you can do with it. Alright, let's click image to image workspace, let's click the sketching editor and import SVG of the X logo. I'm gonna make the logo a bit smaller. I want to make background a bit darker, this looks pretty good. And let's change the logo and make it white. Ok, let's say you want to see how your logo would look like embroidered on a fabric. I'll choose the 3D art and then click embroidered. In the prompt I'm gonna do a simple explanation and say embroidered logo on a black fabric. I'm gonna set image rank to around 3 and I'll turn on use the image colors so it takes the colors from the image. Let's keep it at 3 as well and I think it's looking pretty good so let's click generate. And there you have it, in few seconds you have your logo embroidered on a fabric. Coming from the old traditional ways which is spending so much time finding good mockups, downloading files, applying your logo to this where you just drop your logo, choose style and in one click you got these results. It is amazing. Ok, for the next one, let's say my brand is related to space for example and I want to make a realistic edit where I'll have my logo floating in the space. For that I'll click realistic and then choose hyperrealism. In the prompt I'm gonna say a metallic shape floating in space. So I don't want it to use the colors I have right now so for that I'm gonna turn off use the image colors and I'll increase the image rank to around 6 because I want it to be very close to my logo and also have a clean and shiny edges. Everything is looking pretty cool and let's click generate. Alright, this is cool. As you can see it's very close to the input logo just like I wanted and it has this shine because of the metallic texture. This would look really cool on a social media post or a cover maybe, but honestly it would have looked cool on anything. Alright, for the next one let's say it's a national bubblegum day and there actually is a national bubblegum day. So let's say we want to change our logo to be made out of a bubblegum. So first what I want to do is to change the color of X to be maybe this light pink color and I'll change background to be uh, let's say light blue. This already gives me this bubblegum vibes so in the prompt I'm gonna say a glossy shape made of pink bubblegum slightly stretched and shiny. I'm gonna turn on use the image colors because I really like the colors I've made but I'm gonna set it to around 4 or 5 because I do not want the exact same colors, I'm still open to seeing some different variations. Alright, this is all looking pretty cool so let's click generate. This is interesting, I really like the results. As you can see it is still my logo the one I uploaded but if you pay close attention to the edges you can see the imperfections but in my opinion that adds a lot more realism. Let's say you don't want that, let's say you want the exact same shape. In that case you can just increase the image strength to around 9 or 10 and you'll get the exact same shape with clean and sharp edges. But if you're adding textures similar to this I think going for lower image strength is the way to go, but of course it depends and it is just my opinion. Alright, for the next one I'll use the PlayStation logo. I have an idea but first I'm gonna change the colors. I want the P shape to be this light pink and I'll change the S to be this dark purple. I'm also gonna change the background and make it a lot darker. In the prompt I'm gonna say a realistic 3D shape made of neon lights in the middle of a rainy street with reflections and I'm gonna say night setting. In the styles I'm gonna choose cinematic. I'm gonna decrease use the image colors to around 2 or 3 because I don't want it to be very close. 
I wanted to look at the color idea I have and offer me some different variations. I think everything is pretty clear so let's click generate and see the results. That's really cool. This has cyberpunk vibes, which fits the PlayStation logo really well. Reflection on the ground, lighting, rain, everything just works together and just fits the logo so much. For the next one, I actually want to create something more challenging. I'm gonna describe the prompt. Letter quotation marks P positioned on the ground at the edge of a mountain with a beautiful view behind and I'm gonna say daylight setting. First I'll turn off use the image colors and decrease the image strength to around 7. For this one I'll try to use hyper realism instead of cinematic and let's click generate. Alright this is super impressive to say the least. Look at the lighting and the colors, it's perfectly made. Imagine making this yourself. I have experience in photo manipulation and creating something like this and making it this accurate and balanced with this much detail is not just very time consuming, it just seems impossible at this point. And this was made in seconds. Isn't this crazy? I have to upscale this and see the upscaled version, it's gonna be super interesting. Just click the image then click upscale image I'm gonna choose optimize for realistic and I'll keep the creativity level to around 3 this is just impressive every detail is so carefully placed look at the dirt on the metal this is such a tiny detail I know but this is what makes it so realistic. Each piece of grass has its own highlights and shadows and the town behind is super detailed. This is honestly very cool. I'm super happy with the result and the upscale. I want to show you one more really cool thing before I end the video and it's called style image. Let's say you have an image of something and you want to edit your own logo to look like that image. Click the style image on the left side. You can upload your own style image but we also have have really cool galleries so I'll choose one from there. Alright this colorful wool texture looks pretty cool. So I'll select this, I'm gonna keep everything how it is and let's describe the prompt. A logo made of fuzzy pastel colorful wool. It is pretty simple prompt so let's see what it makes. So same texture, same colors and same lighting. Everything is the same. The best thing is that you can do this with any picture. You don't have to choose it from our gallery if you don't want to, which is pretty awesome. This is it for today, I really hope you enjoyed the video. What I showed you is nothing compared to what you can do at Logo Diffusion. The possibilities are endless. There is a lot more awesome content coming your way, so make sure to stay tuned. Ask me if you have any questions in the comments down below and I hope to see you in the next video.